Well, listen to this, folks. There are about 6 million kids today living with food allergies. That's about two in every classroom. An allergic reaction can be dangerous, and handling your child's allergies is a pretty big task. Big, but manageable, thanks to fantastic organizations like the Kids with Food Allergies, a division of the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. KFA is celebrating its 10th year of helping kids and their families. And here to talk about food allergies and kids is Michelle Casalia. Happy anniversary, and thanks so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. You know, Michelle, one of your two kids uh, was diagnosed with a food allergy. First of all, how did you feel about that? And then how did you, what did you do, and what were the steps you took after you heard that diagnosis? It was very overwhelming at first. It was life-changing, and it was very profound. One of the first things that you need to do is to get a emergency care plan mm -hmm. from your doctor. An emergency care plan is going to explain the signs of a severe allergic reaction. It's going to let you know how to handle a severe allergic reaction. It's also going to teach you about anaphylaxis. And one of the ways you can handle anaphylaxis is with an epinephrine auto-injector. Which, which can, we call EpiPen, EpiPen right? or an yeah. OviQ device. Got it. Yes. Another thing that we had talked about, which can be a bit more challenging, yeah. is a food allergy management program. And that's a comprehensive plan for the child, and which probably involves like major lifestyle changes, right, for you and your, your child and the whole family. Absolutely. The whole family has to change a lot of the things that you, you need to do. For example, you need to prepare and you need to learn how to prevent an allergic reaction. My daughter first was eating, a, her favorite sandwich was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, she had to stop eating that because my son was allergic to peanuts. If you go to the Kids with Food Allergy website, you can learn. You can learn how to read labels. You want to learn the label reading laws. Mm. You also want to learn how to cook in the kitchen. You want to make sure that your safe foods are not contaminated with foods that may have allergens. You want to make sure that you don't share utensils. Yeah, that's a biggie. You it know, is. cross contamination. Absolutely. It's a whole new lifestyle. And, and of course, that includes your community and it includes the child's school. And I imagine that was really scary, sending your son back to school for the first time. It was. It was so scary sending my child to school that first day. One of the things that you want to make sure is that you have a plan in place. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that your, your child doesn't feel isolated. One of the great things that are going on right now with the education in the schools across America, they're becoming more educated. They are learning how to handle allergens in the classroom. One of the things that most schools are educated in is the top eight allergens that take up 90% of all food allergens, which includes milk, eggs, wheat, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, and fish. Wow. All eight of them. Schools are learning. They have to find new ways of having parties, class trips, things like that. So the child with food allergies doesn't feel alone or isolated. And I bet, you know, isolation is a big challenge for a child that has been diagnosed. Yes, it can be a challenge, and it can be very scary at first. Something as simple as, let's just go out to eat to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Well, it takes a lot of preparation and prevention. And, for example, even going on a field trip, working with your school, going on a family vacation is not the same again. You need to prepare ahead of time. Having a play date, as simple as getting together with a few of the child's toddler friends, you need to prepare ahead of time. And I, I want you to tell us a little bit more about your website because there's so much great information there. Our website, like you mentioned, is celebrating our 10-year anniversary. We have over 40,000 members across the country. It has a wealth of information. We offer webinars once a month that is wonderful for nurses, for dietitians, for school counselors, for moms and dads. Mm -hmm. We also offer all kinds of blogs that are really great to read. And we also have an online community. Everything is free on our website. It's there for you 24 seven. It's really the go-to place to go for food allergies. That's great, and I wanna talk about the recipes because as we were chatting, you said you can put your child's allergy in there and it pops out recipes that are perfect for your child. It has over a thousand free online recipes that are all allergen free. Like you said, you plug it in and out comes out 
wonderful, delicious food recipes that you can bake that are free of the top eight allergens. That's fantastic. Michelle, I, I know you're going to be back on the show next month. We're so excited to have you back with some holiday tips and recipes for the season that are fun and safe. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. And I want you to head straight to thebalancingact.com so you can start utilizing this great information about kids with their foods and their allergies. And don't forget to join us on Facebook and Twitter.